Hello, this is the Ox fan with another Pokemon Go Go Battle League video and very special one today. I have Shiny Hakamo. No, Komo. -o. Shiny Komo. -o. The uh the rose dragon in the game and we are getting the shiny release well this week and going to be able to hunt for it with pretty good odds as a ticket holder for Global Go Fest. And, I mean, I got it in boosted eggs, which is amazing. I actually hashed over 60 eggs, which is, I mean, pretty reasonable odds for getting a shiny. I did get a Badoo before, and I was going to stop, well, I stopped using premium incubators, just filling up with the event eggs, 7 kilometer eggs, to continue and just use my free one free incubator but I got insanely lucky with shiny Jingbo. I mean just a total surprise and it is really good in Ultra League meta. I already have a build up Kamo'o but for the content it's fun shiny Kamo'o. I mean there's so many water types yes plenty of ice and dragons but this beast is a tank and we have Jellicent, which is a real annoying Pokemon to go up against. But we grab the last shield and Dragon Claw right after. Back to back, able to take the victory. Now we have Skeletor in the lead and Fru Alligator. Two other very good Pokemon. We're going to bring in Kama'o for the... Amphros, and they are going to bring in a Skeleturge. Going to be a bit efficient, but I just want to get this damage off. They do give me a free Dragon Tail, which is really nice. Now, the thing is, they are going to go down before that last Incinerate registers, which is really nice. I'm going to Hail Mary go close combat to grab no shield. Actually pivot into Skeleturge. I don't want to be taking tons of damage. I do get one more incinerate in just so I can be one fast move off a disarming voice. And they do throw to take me out. And we have our own shiny for alligator. They do bring in infos to launch a move very, very well played. It is Trailblaze. Is Hydro Cannon going to be enough for the knockout? It is. Let's go. That last Volt Switch does not register. Now, they may have potential for Ice Beam, but Hydro Cannon is being thrown, and it is not enough to take me out. And one last Dragon Tail takes out there for Alligator. Next opponent is a Steelix in the lead, and here I should have gone over for him because that would have been a free Incinerate. They're going to actually throw the crunch, which is real good damage for them onto me. To shield, I do end up shielding. Do I swap? Yes, I do. And we do find a shadow drapion, which is not too bad, not too bad. With this light energy advantage, we're able to do some real good damage with the hydro cannons. Now, I should have made a read on this team. They're like, okay, two things where it's like, well, one bad target for Kamo, but I do have a move that destroys it. And then Drapion is a real good matchup. And I should have read that, well, you're going to see what is in the end. At least maybe not specifically that Pokemon, but I didn't make a, a mistake Trying to showcase Kamo, and here we are. We are going to go down. We're going to get the Dragon Tail down, but there is a Cresselia, and a Cresselia, well, if they have Moonblast, they easy win, and Future Sight, still pretty easy win. And if they have a War Beam, they should win. And unfortunately, it is a Moonblast, which, okay, just, yeah, they're going to get to the next Moonblast. And they're going to take me out. Okay, fine. Now, 
if uh, if expected from Niantic, they should be on track for sh community day for Jingbao next year, which with the uh, I mean Go Fest shiny release, like they did with Gumi last year. But you never know. Sometimes maybe they won't. And there is a like a signature move, clanging scales. But I mean the move set on Jang on Combo right now is really good. It is a heavy hitting dragon move, which will be nice. But also, I mean the move set that is on this thing is pretty pretty good. Also, it does have Poison Jab as a potential fast move to go up against fairies, although, I mean, fairies will, especially Charmos, will absolutely shred Kamo. It's for Alligator. They do take out and avoid the charge attack, so I have to go for the farm down, fast move farm down, and I get that. Let's see, next battle, terrible lead. We have a for alligator. And the thing is, the thing about non shadow for alligator, we can take that leaf blade. Do they think we have ice beam? We go full send and we grab the KO. Flipping alignment, winning alignment. And now we can bring our dragon for their dragon instead of. I mean, honestly, not, not as. I mean, Scarlet Dish isn't as bad of a lead as other fire types, but we do find a Sylveon, which, yeah, I mean, I'm having to rely on Skeletorge to take care of Sylveon after taking out Kingdra is definitely not, not good. So winning that alignment was very handy and made this battle so much easier. They do give up the Sylveon because they do. They knew I was going to get to enough energy for another Shadow Ball with my shield. Going to pivot into Jang Bowo to their Shadow for Alligator. Got to be careful of Ice Beam. They do bring in Vrizion, which let's go for the a Dragon Claw to grab a shield. I'm going to go for another Dragon Claw. If they know shield, I really wish I had thrown close combat. It's fine. It's fine. Sacred Sword is not enough as a fighting type. Very nice to take neutral. And we do go close combat to take them out. Need that bit of extra damage. We do find a Galarian Stunfisk, which we're going to try to make a Rock Slide catch. We fail. But we have a very healthy Skeleturge in the back. And we have a non-Shadow for Alligator to clean up their Shadow. They're going to reach one more Hydro Cannon. I'm not going to be able to shield. And it does take one more Shadow Claw to take them out. Hydro Cannon is able to grab a shield, but I cannot reach another. We shield the Rock Slide. I was hesitant on whether I should throw an Incinerate in between. I actually definitely could have. Because I survived EQ. But I do still end up taking the win with that. Last incinerate. Beautiful lead. And we're actually staying into Primarina as it is a Charmer. And we have something that gets absolutely nuked by the Charmer. And our water type really does not want to see this Charmer. Although they let the Shadow Ball go and I'm like, okay. I'll take the damage. I'll take the one charge attack. And we are going to go full send the Ice Babe to Kaboom. And they hope to get a farm down. But we are just good enough IVs to hang on and just absolutely obliterate. Now we have Garatina in the back. We have a Kamoa with the dragon that chonking away with the fast attack. I mean you could throw the charge attacks to break the shields. I mean, maybe they would have conceded, but I was just like, yeah, this is probably just the fastest way to take the win. I mean, I did still have Skeletage and Ancient Power was not enough for a one-shot. Although Shadow Claws would have done a good amount of damage. This, this opponent, okay. 
they lag a bit, get some nice free energy. Unfortunate for them, but this is nine takes go badly. They could do go for the skull. That's a little annoying. I definitely lost track of the energy they had. And I am and I do throw the dragon claw. I should have thrown a dragon claw here. It would have been good damage. I do try to full send, but they did have shield advantage. We bring in Skeletage because they don't want disarming voice. They don't want to take it. Poodle Swing does a bit more than I expected. They actually make a real good catch of disarming voice. Is there any play for me? Well, I do give them a free psychic cut, but I, I don't want to be shielding this red health Skeletage. They do get some valuable energy. And unfortunately, I mean, this is a lot. This is where you'd really want Shadow for Alligator, being able to get that extra bit of damage. I mean, Psycho Cut's not adding up much. I should have thrown the Ice Beam straight away, although I was in Grass Knot range, and I needed two charge attacks for Cresselia. And I do just want to check to see how much damage you can get. Yeah, Shadow would have potentially won, especially if I'd thrown the Ice Beam straight away to take out the Guzzlord. Close battle, but unfortunate. Did not go in my favor. And here we have Ampharos. Gonna go straight for the Shadow Ball. They do have a one volt switch off of back to back brutal swings. They bring in Surfetch after I bring in Kabo. I full send. The close combat to Kaboom! And they bring in another electric type. Definitely could have been more efficient with the dragon tails. I do end up just letting the Kamao go. Now, I should have just brought in... I should have just brought in Skeletage. Two shielded Skeletage. Why did I bring in for alligator? I should have just had it as like potential catch for later. Now we bring in Skeletage. They do get that full volt switch through and I can't get any extra energy. Brutal Swing does a lot of damage. I needed to throw a move. I tried to get a farm down but I lost track of energy and we are going to end up taking each other out, and they have info, so they take the win. Poorly played endgame by me. Sometimes don't try to force using your whole team. This time we have a Tapu Koko with a better position for us. We full send the Shadow Ball, and we are in a commanding position. They're going to go for the fourth Incinerate, which is fine. They're going to then launch a move. At, at capped energy. They don't take us out. Next incinerate's not enough to take us out, so they are going to have some nice energy. I'm going to bring in Kamo. Gonna take resisted thunder punches. Now Blast Burn will do a lot. They do have another Blast Burn to Kaboom to get me to have health. We do find a Verizium, which that's been charge attack priority. And our energy advantage is very handy in this battle. We're going to be able to shield, and we did get just enough energy on that against that Typhlosion to, to reach his next move to then take out the Phorizion. And we're just going to be able to bring in for Alligator. I mean, even as a sh shadow for Alligator, we do not get one shot by Thunder Punch. It's a bit of a weak move. Maybe Shadow on Shadow, it would have been close, but next opponent is Jellison. Okay. Go on, just stay in. We bring charge attack priority. We have much better attack. We full send the Shadow Ball, and they do end up shielding as expected. Should have should have gone for the bait. They have Surf, which they get to faster. I do try and make a catch. I end up making a taking a Shadow Ball, and make a good read. We do find a Romatis, which is so needed to take out, to to drag out. We are able to reach one more charge attack. Honestly, I may have been able to get another Shadow Claw in. If I had thrown on potentially better timing. 
for the first move, but maybe not. We bring in the dirge, skeleton dirge. To grab the last shield off of Jellicent. Should once again should have gone for a disarming voice, but now they're sheltered down. They are not going to survive this shadow ball. Third time's a charm. And we bring in Kamo O for the skeleton their skeleton dirge. Shadow Ball, I mean, they should have gone for the disarming voice, but the thing is, I back to back moves and they go down because I win once again. Charge attack priority. CMP time, I win it. And I hope you enjoy the battles with Shiny Kamo, and I hope you have success with getting the Shiny if you so want for Go Fest Global or getting any of the shinies you want and hope you have good success with the raids and good more shadows and just amazing the Krozmas and uh, catch cards that you want but thanks for watching subscribe to the channel for daily Go Battle League videos and other Pokemon Go content and uh, going to have a lot of Go Fest success hopefully gonna give it my all this weekend and stay tuned thanks for watching goodbye